it is completely unacceptable that two babies born today in Gateshead can have as much as a 10 year difference in life expectancy due to the circumstances into which they're born. Recently, inequalities in Gateshead have been increasing. And last year, we saw over 8,000 people accessing our food banks, which includes over 2,500 children. Over 3,000 people needed support and advice to prevent or deal with homelessness or insecure housing. So Gateshead Council is really ambitious for all of our residents. Um, we have a vision that we want to ensure that Gateshead is a place where everybody, regardless of their circumstances, has the opportunity to thrive. However, despite much amazing work over recent decades, you know, inequality is an entirely preventable disease and preventable social disadvantage remains stubbornly persistent. And as a council, it's really important that we prioritise the use of our resources to those things that will make the greatest difference for our residents. But the challenge that we're left with is actually we need to ensure that all of those decisions that are made, you know, by our policymakers, by our members, are based on the best available evidence. And so HDRC really gives us an opportunity to maximise the use of evidence and research in our policy making and decision making, which will ultimately have a benefit to ensure that we prioritise all of our resources in the most appropriate way to tackle the issues of inequality that we have in Gateshead. The Health Determinants Research Collaborative presents us with a really exciting opportunity in Gateshead to build up a unique evidence base that will help us deliver services to our communities which really do make a difference, improving lives and life expectancy. We can also use that evidence base to show government how to do things in a better and more joined up way for the benefit of our community. The HDRC would allow us to fully evaluate and research what we can really do when health, statutory services, voluntary services and communities work together to improve health and general well-being and to showcase this as a model of the difference systematic and real collaboration makes. What's really important is that we've done some really good work on very, very small scale, but this will get us the opportunity to join it up much better across the council on you know, some of those really big place shaping things that will make a real difference to health in the future. It's what HDRC will allow us to do, it will allow us to work in collaboration with our most disadvantaged communities, working through established community and voluntary sector partners that we have working already and have built trusted relationships in Gateshead to make sure that we're actually including um, you know, our most disadvantaged communities in the research and the, and the generation of the evidence. HDRC is exciting because it's going to allow the voices of local people to be heard. Um, and Marmot evidence tells us that that in itself will help improve their health and well-being, which is fab. Um, but the evidence also that it produces will help us to shape delivery to meet community need more effectively. So before working with the embedded researcher, um, I didn't really see the um, relevance with the role that I'm doing. The research has transformed the way that we deliver things. Um, it's probably paved the way for what we, look at, what we look at now. For me, we're now delivering stuff that people want um, rather than what we think they want. And that's a lot more beneficial for any community. So with the HDRC, we're looking together to generate evidence that's robust relevant and timely for the populations in Gateshead as well as in the wider region in the northeast of England. And we intend to do this um, together in partnership across the different directorates of the Gateshead Council, so going right across um, social care, housing, welfare, employment, so that we can together co-produce, test and evaluate interventions that work best for the populations um, in order to reduce inequalities and particularly aiming at some of the most disadvantaged populations in our society.